Hello, this is Chris. Welcome to the Creation Video on Fysim, and welcome to episode 4 of the full Microsoft Play Simulator tutorial from a Cessna 150 Duo all the way up to a big dual engine jet powered aircraft that flies into big airports with air traffic control and bad weather. That's kind of the thing. Alright, episode 4 today is the landing. This is the very important episode. This is one of the most important episodes, actually, because this is landing. The, the In my opinion, one of the most fun parts of flying and one of the most challenging parts of flying as well. Alright, so we're at about 3,000 feet, a little bit high. The airport is just behind us now. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to initiate a descent. So first thing is first, we're going to make a right turn towards the airport. We'll start our descent, and then I'll talk about um, talk about the landing procedure uh, for this aircraft. So first thing we have to do is get ready for a descent. So we're going to put the mixture to full, make sure we have good fuel and good oil pressure and oil temperature. We're at a good cruise power setting now. And now we can go ahead and reduce the power to about 1800 RPMs and start a nice gentle descent at about 500 feet per minute. Now, if you remember, we took off into the wind, so we're also gonna wanna land into the wind. Winds right now at Flying Cloud Airport are 160 at six, if you remember with the METAR. So that means the winds are coming from 160, which is about a southerly direction. Now, if you remember the airport, if you don't, uh, we can go ahead and look at the chart again. So we have these runways, the winds coming from a 160 heading. So about, about, uh, about that heading right now, okay? So which runway is closest? Runway 18 again. So we're gonna come into runway 18. We're about flying in this area right now. So we wanna make a right hand turn to come into a final for 18. Okay, so where's runway 18? We can see it right now, there's lights. Cool, so we wanna continue that descent at about 500-ish feet a minute. Now an important thing to landing, um, is you always want to anticipate losing an engine. So that's going to want to do. We want to always maintain a height from the airport that if we lose an engine, we're going to be able to come back and land safely. Okay, so right now we're on what's known as a base leg in the uh, traffic pattern, which is what we'll discuss in the next video. But base pretty much just means uh, that we're flying perpendicular to our runway on our approach. So we're going to get ready to turn final, which is uh, when you enter a final approach and we're lined up with the runway. That's known as final. I'm going to go ahead and turn our landing light on right now, just to indicate that uh, we're coming in. This is uh, just useful as a memory device to know that you're landing, and also other aircraft, just in case they don't see you, it can kind of help a little bit. It doesn't really, but it's what you do. All right, so now I'm going to talk about the landing technique. So we're going to come in at 55 knots on the airspeed about for our final approach with flaps to full. When we get over the runway, we're going to do what's known as a flare. Okay, so what a flare is, is what you want to do is you want to raise the nose just a little bit when we're only a few feet from the runway, raise the nose and level the plane out. It's basically like slow flight. This is why we practice slow flight. We want to level it out and just basically transition into slow flight, okay? So we're going to do this with flat full. So what do we need to do with flat full? We need to start slowing down. If you remember from the last video, you can take flap one with any airspeed in the green band. So we've taken flap one now and we're gonna start slowing down to 55 knots. When we're in the green arc, we can take flap two. Now, what's important is you wanna pitch for airspeed and power for altitude. So we're gonna to wanna to pitch, so when we're at the, our approach speed, which is 55 knots, we're gonna to wanna to pitch for airspeed. So if we're getting too, uh, too slow, we're gonna to wanna to pitch down and that's gonna increase our uh, speed. If we're going a little bit, uh, if we're descending too fast, we're gonna to wanna to add power and when we add power, that means we're going to increase speed and we pitch up to maintain speed. Therefore, the plane's going to go a little bit higher. Okay, so that's the theory. Okay, so we're about 60 knots now. Take the full notch of flap, flap three right now. There's all the flap right there. And now we're just going to get ready to do the flare. Now, pitching for speed, power for altitude. So when you get to the flare, you want to give a little bit of nose up trim just to help you nose up. We want to look to the end of the runway when we're doing our flare. Looking to the end of the runway, we want to put the nose right about level with the end of the runway and just let it settle down. We're just going to hold that attitude, hold the attitude, hold the plane in the air. We want to keep it flying as long as possible. If you do it perfectly, you should hear a stall horn. It might not every time. Most times you probably won't, but you sometimes do hear a stall horn, and that's what you're aiming for. You want to keep it flying for as long as possible. When you come over the runway, we're gonna idle the power, idle the power, and just give it a nice gentle flare. Let the plane tell us where we're going when it wants to land. All right, so just hold it off. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, looking to the end, holding it off, holding off. All right, we're down. All right, now we're gonna keep the back pressure in to keep that nose wheel and slowly lower the nose wheel. 
using the rudder to maintain center line. We don't need any brakes because this plane can slow down on its own. We can give it a little bit of brake if you want to exit at this taxiway. Exit nice and slowly, nice and slowly. All right, now we want to make the left hand turn now and get off the runway. All right, so that was just a nice normal landing. Okay, so we're going to want to pass the hold short line, which means you're legally off the runway. Get the entire plane past the hold short line and then we could just bring it to a stop. All right, bring it to a stop and we're gonna get the parking brake on. So, what do you wanna do? We've just landed, so I'm gonna take the flaps up. See the flaps coming up? Okay, next what we're gonna do, get the throttle to 1,000 RPMs. That's actually the first thing you should do. Just make sure you're at 1,000 RPMs. Landing light off, taxi light on, nav light off. Okay, we can release the parking brake and we can taxi into the gate or the ramp area is what we do in these small aircraft. Now, if you notice, we didn't use any carpet on that landing. There's actually a pretty big debate if you want to look into it, whether or not you should use carpet, when you should use it, when not to use it. Since there are so many different opinions, I've just elected not to use it for simplicity's sake. Some people say whenever you're below, whenever you're below the green band, Sometimes you should use the carpet. It's just it depends look into it and come to your own conclusion I'm just for simplicity's sake just not going to turn it on We're going to crossing a runway now Or approaching a runway you can see on the ground. It says runway 28 left in red red right there Runway 28 left when we're crossing we want to look on both ends of the runway and make sure nobody is there Okay, we're on the runway legally on the runway you need it. You need special clearance from air traffic control whenever you enter a runway. Don't have air traffic control on right now, but if you were to, that's what we would do. We're across, and now we're going to cross the next runway. These are two parallel runways: two eight left and two eight right. All right. Now we're going to come and uh, make a right-hand turn here and park exactly where we left from. And then we'll talk about the shutdown procedure and recap kind of what we talked about. Right. When you're in the ramp, you don't really need to follow the yellow lines as you do on a taxiway, but I'm just going to, because this is uh, right where we started from. So we're going to come back to where we started. Okay, so as we bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, we can stop right here, get the parking brake on, we can turn the beacon light off, and we want to make sure the throttle's at 1,000 RPMs, and then we can just slowly bring the mixture out. And the engine stops, like so. Taxi light off. Probably should have done that beforehand. Okay, we can cut the power now. And that is basically the engine shut off. We can go and turn the strobe light off because uh, we're not moving anymore and we're not planning on moving. And then we can go ahead and for the last thing, battery and alternator off. Welcome back to Flying Cloud Airport, right where we started from. So, for the landing, what do we do? We need flaps full, and the flare is the important thing. You don't want to over flare, you don't want to under flare. Look to the end of the runway, it might take a little bit of practice. It might take a little bit of practice. Landing is one of the most challenging things, like I said. Don't worry if you don't get it the first time. Don't worry if you bounce the first time or anything. You might not, you might be great at it. Um, first time, I don't know, I'm not you. Um, so. The important thing is you just let the plane decide when it's ready to land. If you know you don't want to just force stall horn every time. If it's not going to give you a stall horn, I don't think it did from our landing. I don't if I remember right. <laughs> okay, I can't remember from like five minutes ago, but you know it doesn't matter. If the plane wants to land, the plane wants to land. You don't want to force anything. Just the plane is supposed to tell you when it's ready to land. So you know if that means you know you you only flare for a few seconds and the plane lands. That's okay. Just you don't make sure you're not doing any hard landings. Just when you get over the runway, you bring the power back, raise the nose to the end of the runway. You can raise the nose a little bit more if you feel like the plane's descending, but you just want to kind of maintain altitude and just kind of let the plane land. Just make sure you're positive control of the aircraft and make sure you're not so high up that you're like stalling out. And that's why we practice the power off stall in case, you know, maybe you flare too early and you stall the airplane. You didn't know how to recover. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. That is our uh, lesson on landing, very important lesson, and hopefully you guys, uh, hopefully this helped land.
hope you guys helped. Hopefully this helped you guys with the landing. I just forgot when you turn off the fuel shutoff belt. All right, so that's going to do it for me today. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please rate or comment to this video once again. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.